Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I've been just thinking about new videos that I wanted to post and just different topics that I wanted to talk about. And I decided to do a Tech Tuesday, which is an IT type of thing. I mean, yeah, whatever. I am like an IT geek. And I am currently in school for web design and graphic design. So I thought I would share some things with you guys that I've been kind of learning over the last couple years and then some new stuff that I've been uh, working with recently. And yes, I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So um, yeah, so today I'll be teaching you how I did my intro video for my YouTube channel, which I just created maybe a week ago. And I absolutely love it. And I've been getting so many compliments on it and people just asking me how I did it. So I thought I would show you guys really quickly how I did it. I am currently using we video software which is an online video editor and it costs 15 dollars a month and i love this editor so much because it allows me to like transport all of my footage online and store it there for me versus me storing everything that i've ever uploaded or filmed on my computer hard drive so it allows me that freedom to just upload it to the server and go on about my business. So, so to begin with, I click on this icon here, which is for graphics. And what I'm going to need is a solid white background. Um, with the graphic option, it does give you backgrounds that move. And I'll just show you a few. And then it also gives you the solids just solid colors and then it also gives you overlays which is stuff you can like just put on top of your already video or image and then it also comes with frames so you can put little frames around your video or image so we're going to click on solids and i'm going to use this white background here and i am going to just drag it over here normally i will put it right here at the beginning but as a matter of fact i'm going to do that so I'm going to drag it all the way here. And now all you see is a white background. So the next thing I'm going to do is click right here for media. Media is where you would upload your images, video, audio, all that good stuff. So um, what I, in order to upload, you would click this little green import media. Click here to browse and select. And I already uploaded the image, so but I would like for you guys to see what it looks like when you upload it. So I'm going to find that same image again that I would like to use. And I'm just scrolling down until I find that image, which is right here. So I'm going to click that image and then click on open. And as you can see, it's going to start downloading right here. And this will show you how much time you have to wait before it's fully downloaded. And when it's done, it'll say 100%. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is drag this image from here to video two. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like now. See the white background and there's the image. So to resize this image and move it where I would like, I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to use this scale feature. So I'm going to make the scale feature to make it larger like that. And then I'm going to move over here onto the image and click and move it over to the far left. Just like that. Okie dokie. So now that we got the image together and the solid white background, the next thing I am going to do is add my social media links. Now, the reason why I'm adding the social media links is because it is a GIF, which is a animated image. Um, so the image itself is going to be moving. So I'm going to get that and it is my social media icons. I'm going to show you right here what it looks like and it's just kind of clicking each image and the image is popping up as it's being clicked with the arrow 
Um, so I'm going to apply this to my page also. So I'm going to just drag that down to video three. And if you're not sure on how to create videos, like extra videos, because I believe it's only going to give you two when you first start. So you're going to just click here, this little plus sign. And it's going to ask you if you want to add a new track. And videos is where you put your images and your media. And music is where you put your audio. You create an audio uh, track. And then you click OK. But because I already have all mines created, we're just going to keep moving. So I'm just making that all the same size straight down. So I'm making the white. Um, one size, the image, the same size, and the social media, the same length. So I'm going to double click on the social media track. And what I'm going to do is make it smaller because it's covering up the entire image of myself. So I'm going to click on scale and then drag it down. And then I'm going to move it over. I'm just clicking on this image and moving it over. And now you see how this is still covering up my shoulder. So I'm going to go back to scale, scale down some more. Then I'm going to go back over to the actual image and move it over to the far right. I'm going to move it over just enough where it's not on my shoulder anymore. So just like that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is create another video, which I already told you I did those already. So I'm going to move right on up. And this is video four. So everything is kind of like stacked on top of each other, like layered. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my text. So I'm going to go to this little A here. And then I'm going to scroll down. And this is the one that I would like to use. So I'm going to click on it and show you how it works. And then I'm going to click it again and then drag it down to video four. And I'm going to click that again and then drag it over so everything is the same length. So then I'm going to double click on it. And this allows me to move the text around wherever I want. So I'm not ready to move it yet. So I want to just change the color of the font so that it appears better on the white background. So I'm going to click this little bubble here at the top. And I'm going to change this white color of the first lettering to pink. And then I'm also going to change this black lettering to pink. Or you know what? Let's change it to purple. Okay, and then we're going to move it to where we want it here. And then click right here where it says primary, and that's where you would change your text. Then when you're done with that, you will click done editing. Now there is a little space here. So what I'm going to do is click on these icons and move them up. All right. And we are looking good. So now I'm going to go to this one that says sample text. And you would need to create another layer. So you would click on the little plus sign and add a new video track. And it will pop up here. So you're going to take this one, click it, and drag it over. Then double click on it. 
and this would allow you to change the text. So I'm just highlighting it and I'm going to type in what I wanted to say. And I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to click this B right here. And then because my background is white and the lettering is white, I'm also going to click this here, which will change the color of my text. And I'm going to make my text the same color as the other text. So it's going to be a pink color. Now, all of my lettering is really long, so I'm going to have to resize it. So I'm going to go to size and drag this down. Okay, and that looks like a decent size. So then I'm gonna move it over. And then, It doesn't seem to fit quite well to me, so I'm just going to move it over a little more and kind of resize it to the size that I would like. So that looks fine. Okay, and when you do that, you are going to click Done Editing and create a new layer. So click on the plus sign, click on Video, and create a new layer. Mines are already created, so I'm just going to move on. And the next thing you would do is I added a subscribe to my channel PNG file, which I thought was really cool. I just went on Google and found this and um, downloaded it. Okay, so click this and then drag it down to this video here. And since it's all over my face, I'm going to double click on it and do the scale option and make it smaller and then drag it over to where I want it to be. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add the audio, which is the music. So you go all the way down and that's where your audio file is. And I'm just going to use one of my songs that me and my brother did together. And it's called Dear Summer. Oops, I can't even spell. <laughs> and I already have it downloaded. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it down and then cut it to match the other. Well, I'm not going to cut it yet. Okay, so that's completed. So the next thing I'm going to do is drag this part right here out a little more away from everything else. Go into text here at the top. And then I'm going to add that one to video two. And I'm just going to clean it up and make it all the same length text here. So I'm going to move that over here on the second video line, which is the second layer. Double click on it and it takes you to this option here. You go to this little bubble and type in your whatever verbiage you wanted to say. I'm gonna just say, hey, y'all. <laughs> and then on the bottom, I'm gonna say, love you. Okay. And then you can change, because that's a white background, I wanted to change my words to black. And these little things to black. And that is all. So let me show you guys what it looks like so far, and then we'll add the audio. Um, where did my text go? 
Oh, I know where it went because this didn't run all the way through. Okay, so I pulled that all the way through so we can see the text now. Okay, and then the last thing to do is add your audio for your like music, whatever music you want to add. I did add one of my songs that I did with my brother, which is uh, called Dear Summer. And that is what's playing on my intro because that's what I do. <laughs> so I'm just clicking here because I already have it downloaded. And then you can add it to your intro. You want to start it right where everything else starts and kind of line everything up together. And I'm just going to play it from here so you guys can see how it looks. And then we will be all done. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this a tutorial for Tech Tuesday. This is my first time doing this. If you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you thought it was very helpful, drop it in the comments and let me know. And if you guys want to see more videos like this on a regular basis from your girl, Miss Boom Boom Room, let me know in the comments also. I love you guys. I will see you next time in my next upload. Bye.